Good morning, my friends. Welcome, welcome back to the channel. This is Tanya, Side Gig Crafts. You guys, today is a day. Remember how I told you we were going to use this folder for something? Well, today is the day we're going to do that. This was one of those folders that had the cover that went here, but we use this piece to make these. So I used it for, um, I think that's what I used it for the other day. Anyways, we're going to use this part. So how are we going to do this? This is one of those file folder thingies. Got this off of Amazon and I'm going to take it apart. Now what? <laughs> yep, we're going to take it apart. We're going to have some fun with it. It's just glued simply on the back here. And uh, if I can do this without ripping it all to pieces, because we want to use as much of it as we can, right? So let's just whip that out. That just goes this way. And these are pieces this way. And look, they're just kind of cut. Look at that. See, I didn't even realize it was cut like that. But we're going to cut this off right here. And we're going to make some folders to go into our journal. That is what we're going to do. That is what we're going to do. I hope you guys are doing great. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you will consider liking and subscribing to the channel. If you find any of this useful, helpful, interesting, entertaining, or any of the above, because I love having you here. And if you like, if you feel like putting a comment down in the comment box, something positive, hopefully, because I'd like this to be a positive place to be, I answer all my comments. So feel free to do that. I love hearing from you and knowing who was here to stop by. So what are we going to do with these? Well, we have the um, the sewing journal going already, and I was thinking these would make, if they don't fly away, make really great little folders that we can add in there. I was thinking if we fold them this way and, and we can put some uh, pattern paper over them would be really cute. I think I'm going to use my paper chomper for this part. I've got to get this line straight, and even though it's... Oh, wait, I almost messed that up, didn't I? There we go. And we'll round these corners to make it look a little more file folder-ish. Oops. See how cute that'll be in there? So it's just, you know, using that piece. And we can put little ephemera in there, whatever we want. We can put a pocket in there. So we're going to do one of these. Well, let's just do them all. I was going to say one at a time, but let's shape them up and just prep them. Now, I don't mind this tab on the end. I, I kind of like it, but we're going to straighten the rest of it. And then let's do this one too. This one looks, this one looks all right. Let's trim that little piece off just to make sure it's straight enough, not too wacky. There. This piece can go in the trash. You guys, today is Saturday. It's Saturday. It's Saturday. Is it Saturday? It is Saturday. Saturday morning makes. Hey, that's what we're doing today. Mm-hmm. Saturday morning makes. I'm actually off work today, believe it or don't. I can't round that one, can I? So let's see what we can do. I think I'm going to take... I'm going to just cut this this way. I guess I'm not sure I like that bit. So we'll just cut it this way. And square it up. So I've been kind of lazy this morning. I have been just kind of... Since I'm not working, just kind of hanging out and watched a few videos this morning already. Got some inspiration. Ah, still it's crooked. Um, just taking it slow. Figured I'd do some crafting this morning yet before I get too busy into my day. Even though, you know, my day consists of, you know, crafting. That's what I want to do today. And, but of course, I've got to do some adulting too. 
I, we've always got to do a little adulting. I'm going to do this edge too if I can. That edge is not going to let me, so do I want that tab on there or do I don't? How badly? Well, I can fold it this way and then just trace it with my scissors carefully. I can do that. Because I kind of like that tab there. It's kind of fun. Okay, and then this one will go this way. And I like it. I like it a lot. All right. So here's what I want to do. You know me, Queen of Collage. I'm just going to name myself Queen of Collage. But I don't want to do too much on here. I was thinking of just putting, um, putting some pattern paper on it, honestly. If I can open it. And perhaps I could have done this before. Either that paper, either the tissue, or just this. Maybe I'll just do this. I think this might be a better, better plan. Tissue's going to be tough. Well, it wouldn't be. But I do like these images better to put on there. Don't you think so? Let's see if this will fit. I'm a hot mess this morning. I am a hot mess. I probably should have gotten up and done something with myself before I sat down at my craft table, but whatever. At my desk. Whatever. Alright, let's just tear this one. I mean, we could do these all different, so it doesn't really matter. And heck, I've got all these materials in duplicates, so we could always do it another time, in another way. We can do whatever we want, because there's no rules. And I, here's the rule I do have. I can't tear left-handed. I have to tear with my right, okay? Okay, that's a fair rule, because that's how I'm going to get the best results. I am not left-handed. I can't tear that direction. All right, let's go ahead... And put, I'm thinking I'm going to put the paper and then I'm going to put a little bit of ribbon probably or trim that I can fold over. So I'm going to glue this down here. Um, I'm actually going to use my craft bomb glue to this, for this because I kind of want to use it up. I was going to use this for my wood. Anyway, whatever. I kind of want to use it. And not because I love it. I really don't have an opinion on this glue. There it is. But it, I should probably be using it for my my miniatures and wood stuff. That's probably what I should be doing. So we'll use it on this too. There's enough. I can manage. All right. I probably should have put my glass mat back down, Michelle. Keep talking about. I keep talking about Sister Michelle when uh, when I talk about my glass mat. She complained about my mat. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So anyway, so now it's a joke. Now it'd be between us. But you know what? If it's annoying, that's understandable. Sometimes it can be a little glary. I'm sure. But it's hard to work with glue on paper because then I'm afraid I'm going to get glue it down. All right. There's definite benefits of working on a glass mat. That is for sure. Especially when you're using mixed media stuff. That doesn't want to stick. Why doesn't that want to stick? Did I not put any there? Did it dry already? It dried already? What? Wait, what? How can that be? Maybe I won't use this for this paper today. I mean, it does say it's quick drying, but that, that was quick. True to its ad. I guess 
I could have torn this probably. It's probably delicate enough, but whatever. It's also warping my paper. I can see it. And that is what I don't like. When it warps the paper like that. Oh, I cut her head off. Darn it. I thought I fixed that right. Oopsie. Well, that sucks. I didn't place that very well, did I? Because I wasn't trying to cut her head off. Here's her little head peeking out. I wonder if I could put... Let's put this strip right here. <laughs> Why not? Let's do it. I think it'll be okay if I do. We're going to use real glue. Real good glue. Except for the fact that I didn't just leave the pin in it. How are you guys doing? How was your week? Did you guys have a good week? I sure hope so. We've got holidays coming up soon. Valentine's is over. Did you get all your Valentine crafting done that you'd intended? Now I can't get this pin in and it always fit before. Um, I, I did not get all my Valentine stuff done, you guys. I have to admit, I didn't get it done. I wanted to. I tried. You saw me working on it, but I didn't get it finished. So, I've been horrible with deadlines lately. A little distracted, I guess. Um, so I'm hoping to fix that. There we go. Now it's going through. My goodness, that was a tough one. Don't usually have to take the lid off, but this time. All right, let's get this going here. Let's see, I'm not trying to glue this shut. We're not gluing this shut. I just want to line it up to get her head in the right spot. Right there. Ish there. Lift that up. It's a little bit crooked, but that's okay. We'll um, I'll put some other papers here that'll that'll be fine. <laughs> At least we got our head on there, right? <laughs> that's terrible. I'll collage something else here because that's what we do. That's what I do. I shouldn't say we. I love my collage. Which is funny because I didn't used to. I didn't used to collage at all. And now I do all the time. All right, today I've got to work on some other collaborations too. I've got a fairy collaboration coming up because I love that one. And let's see, I've got a tassel collaboration coming up. We'll put this one on there. Should we just put this on the inside? I'm gonna crop, I'm gonna chop her legs off if I do. But if I tear it this way, will that be short? Will that be long enough? What if I just put it this way, huh? She's in her head. And then we'll just fold it. And put something else here. Yeah, let's, we'll do that. Let's do that. What else have I got going on? I've got a design team project coming up. And that'll be fun. I'm not sure what theme that one is exactly yet, because I haven't decided, but that'll be fun. And then, um, yeah, lots coming up, lots of different things. I never know, you guys. You know, I'm one of those people that just likes to sit down and, and make, and uh, I don't always have a plan. 
In fact, I can say I usually don't. I usually don't have a plan until I sit down and get led by my, my supplies. I didn't have a plan this morning and I walked in and saw this file folder. I'm like, oh, I know what I'm doing with that. Yep. Sometimes that's why I leave things on my desk because I know that they will inspire me. It just, it just might take a minute. Okay, I don't want to put too much on. I'm going to have to tip this just Running out of time here. I gotta figure it out. I can't go up too far on Lady's neck because then I'm gonna dislodge her head again, and I have to figure out how to fix that. So do it that way. And then, oh, let's use this three. Gotta cover this little spot right here. I want to put this word facing right there. <laughs> now facing and sewing is something totally different. But I think it's funny because of her head. So we're gonna put this right there. I gotta put a little bit of my humor in here sometimes, huh? Alright, so I can go ahead and trim around the edges here. I'm wondering if I can just, yeah, we'll just tear it. This side too. There we go. Look at that, that paper's coming up with the other with the other glue. Well, that glue doesn't work very well for this, does it? I'm going to give it a try on my wood, though. I'm not I'm not going to throw it out yet. I'm thinking about it, but we'll give it a chance just for a bit. Okay, let's put, should I put this here. I kind of like to put something totally different here. Maybe... Be a great thing to put right there, wouldn't it? Okay. Use that piece up. All the way around the edges there. And I've got a lot of these um, really delicate edges. I'm just going to go around here and see if I can get some of them. Make sure those are caught into the glue. Ooh, where are we leaking? I didn't put that all the way back on. Makes it easy actually. Alright, and then I should be able to tear these too. So I figure I'll just make these folders today and we'll put them in the journals. Since I've got two two sewing journals going. I think we can probably find spots for all of these. I might need to just cut this right there. And then we'll be inking up the edges, so I'm not too worried about those not being perfect. And then we need to do the back. So this is the inside. Yep, look, she looks great. And then we'll put something back here. And I'm kind of liking this pocket part. Let's see what we can do to get that. Make it a little easier. Look, 
like I tore with my left hand. What? I guess I tear with my left hand more than I realize I do. Maybe I'll just do, well, I don't know. I keep thinking, maybe I'll just do one on camera and come back with the rest of them done, but that's boring, right? We've got time, don't we? You guys have time? If not, skip to the end, because I think I'm just going to keep going for it. It didn't take long to make the one. Not at all. Got my coffee here. Scraps all over the desk. We've got materials for days. Um, I think I've made some decisions on some organization here in the in my craft room. So I'm going to work on that today. Not on video, but I'm going to work on that today. If I can get it figured out and get this stuff put up finally, at least a section. I'm trying to do a section at a time. Just things that are bugging me, you know, that aren't in place that need to be put up. Um, when I come up with some good solutions, I'll definitely be sharing those with you guys because I know it's quite a challenge, obviously, it's quite a challenge to uh, keep up with some of this sometimes. And I'll show you what I've got going on as soon as I, as soon as I can get it put up. But I think I finally figured it, I try not to put some of the things away because I know that I need to use them for, well, there's, like in my, uh, my vintage stuff. I need to make some scans so I don't want to put them away. I don't want to use them so I keep trying to put them aside so that I'll scan them into the computer. So those piles never go away. In fact sometimes they grow and it's like oh my gosh I can, I'm never going to catch up. Not at that wave at least. So I'm trying to figure out ways to handle that. But I never feel like I quite get a handle on it. So I'm hoping that this will answer some of those problems, at least. All right, we're going to use a little bit of vintage photo and a little bit of scorched timber. You can use your favorite colors. If you like color, use some color, maybe purple. Maybe you love whatever it is you love. Use those colors. I am a grungy girl. I like the grunge look. I like the old look. So that's me, but these would be super cute in different colors too to add to your journal. If you make a colorful journal, add the color to it then, you know, or you could um, embellish it with flowers or all the things, whatever you like, whatever makes you happy. You know, I get questions sometimes, hey, can you link this? Can you link that? Nope, unfortunately I can't because some of these things are just, you know, they're, they're not things that I purchased. These are things that I've found broken jewelry, broken, you know, broken stuff throughout my, my craft room, or somebody gifted them to me. I don't know. Um, I just felt inspired. I didn't go purchase them. And you don't have to either. You can, you can find things that inspire you. Use my, what I make and use that to, um, spark your, spark your ideas. And, um, I mean, sure. Copy me. It's fine. I don't mind if you copy me. Do it. I'm here to inspire, and if you learn from what I'm doing, that's awesome. That's amazing. That's my whole goal by sharing this. That is my whole goal, is that you'll find something that inspires you, and you'll take it and make it yours. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. And then tag me, because I want to see what you did. And I want to encourage you, and come support you, too. All right, so I didn't bother down here, because I'm going to just put all over me now. I'm just going to put lace down there anyway, so there's no need to do that. We're going to put a little bit of darkness around, all around the outside of it. Ooh, that's a little darker than I intended. I always hit that a little hard. I always forget how dark it is. I'm not going to do around her head because that's just going to make a mess, but I do want to go around the outsides and even just right here, but I'm still not going to go around her head. I don't want it to look like we chopped her off again. She can still be there. I'm going to go a little darker here. And then we'll go on the back with this one. I don't think I'm going to do the inside with this. I think just the outside. Yep. 
no, nope, I'm going to go around the outside, or around this part too. Just with what's on there though, because some of this is, is white, so, ish. Good enough. That's what I wanted. Okay, so there we go. There's that. A little darker than I intended, but that's okay. Um, we're going to use some rubber stamps. I may only do one, you guys. It might just take me forever. I might just, you know, really enjoy doing this and just, you know. And I know I keep using the same stamps and everything, but they're my favorites and they're on my desk. This is what we're using. This is what we're doing now. Ba -ba 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 -da. Oh, well, I guess it's going there. Okay, that works too. Juicy ink pad. I am going to use this one for this design over here. Because it's out and about. And again, I would stencil, but I can't. I'm, I forgot to get my stencils out, and they're up in the up on the shelf somewhere. And so I'm not going to do that. Those are those. What's this? World's finest. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's do that on something here. We could put a different color for that. I've got green in my drawer. I got blue. Let's use blue. We haven't used blue in a minute. World's finest. Where should we put it? Here? Sure. Oh, finest in the world. I guess that's what it says. And we could put this... Oh, let's do one more. Over here? Sure. Alright, and then let's do the checked, if I can find it. Here right here somewhere. There it is. I know it's there because I keep using these same ones. I need to break out some different stamps, don't I? But it's all going in the same project, so it kind of makes sense. Ooh, let's do this one here. Boom, just like that. Just for fun. Does it need much more? I really want to do the coffee, the coffee stencil. I wonder if I can find it quick. How quick can I find it, you guys? It should be right in the front of my, oh, my binder. I did throw away the junky one because it doesn't work very well. Actually, here's some stencils. I don't know if the coffee one's in here. But if not, that's okay too. We'll use something different. Let's see. Is the coffee one in here? Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. But I love this one. This one's a good one. This one is one of my faves, too. Let's use this one. I need a brush for that. And vintage photo. Do it kind of light. Just a little light design. Can you see it? A little bit more down here, just to kind of frame it. Cuteness, cuteness. What else can we do? Can we do? Let's do this one. This isn't coffee splatters, but it's kind of kind of similar. Should we go a little darker? Let's do um we'll do walnut stain on this one very lightly. That's kind of midway now. Since we have scorched timber, it's kind of mid mid-tone. And that kind of works, doesn't it? ages it a little bit, makes it look a little less perfect. There we go, yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys don't know how badly I want to go to the craft stores this weekend. Oh my gosh, I know that there's some sales going on. Check those ads because there's some good sales going on this weekend for President's Day, but I am not in any shape to go shopping right now financially. So I'm staying home, which is probably a really good thing because I don't need anything. I don't. I don't need anything right now. I've got, okay, I don't really need anything in here either. Don't. I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to do some of this. Just because. It adds so much, you know? Here, we'll put some of this over her dress. Wouldn't that be cute? Yeah. Okay. And I think that's it for that. That's it for that one. There was one other thing I was going to do to this. Oh, oh the trim. So, let's find... I don't have anything in this bunch that I could use for trim. We could use something like this would be really pretty. Ooh, something like this. Exactly it. This is exactly what I... Oh, I was going to use this for the binding for the... Well, I might have to find something different for that because I really love this here. I really love that here. And this will actually make it... It'll make it a lot stronger. It will make it a lot stronger. I'm wondering, though, if I do that, how I'm going to bind this into the book. I could put it on one side and sew it into the book or glue it into the book. So if I did it this way... I could leave half of the, the ribbon exposed so I could glue it into the book. So it'd be a flippy in the book. Which might be the best idea. If I was going to do that, I would probably glue it on the back. So that it would fold this way. Okay, let's do that. You guys see what I'm saying? You'll see what I'm saying? I'm just going to glue this to the back. I'm going to use my, my glue. My fave glue. Because I know it will glue this down and I can count on it to stay. And we can actually... I don't have pages in that book yet. <laughs> I was going to say, I can show you how I'm going to put it in the book, but um, I don't have any pages in that book yet to glue it to. But I might be able to do one of them at least in the other, bo other book. The non-grungy that's turning into grungy. You know, that book. I was not going to grunge that sewing journal, and I totally did. So here's my thought. If it's glued this way, then I can use glue on this side and glue it either. I can either glue it straight down like this, like it is, and then be able to flip it this way. Or I can glue it back this way and then flip it. So probably this way would make more sense. In which case I could probably put something else down here to cover that one. Maybe I'll just ink it. How about that? How about that? We'll just ink that spot. Ooh, I didn't mean to ink the ribbon, though. Well, but I did. That's okay, I suppose. Okay. It's still beautiful. It's still beautiful. Let's leave that on there. Let's let that dry. There's one. We got one done. And I want to put a charm here, I think. Um... Put that aside for now. We'll do if I do charms, we're gonna do them all at the same time because I'm not gonna get that out for one and then put it away and then get it out and then you know do that. I'm not gonna do that. So I've also got these. These would be fun ads to put on there too. These this is from a uh, vintage book that I 
found at the store, at the vintage bookstore. And I've made prints of it. Um, what am I doing? Oh, this way. Hold it down right there, it'll tear. There. There we go. There we go. Okay. Groceries and meat. I know that's not sewing, but um, we may or may not use it in that journal. I don't know. I could also use this in my recipe journal. But I figure it's kind of cute for, you know, Susie Homemaker to have different ads on her. File folder. Why not? Use those for colors and something else. We'll just put this here. And we can put sewing stuff around it. This doesn't need to be on top. If you guys have been around a while, I know that, or some of you may already know, but I used to work in the grocery, in the grocery world, in different markets. And so, this kind of ties in for me, which is kind of fun. Oops, I just threw it on the floor. Well, that's how I feel about the grocery land now. Not the grocery line. If that's a grocery store, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about your favorite grocery store. Just saying, just saying. I no longer work in that industry. And I'm okay with it. Okay. I do miss it sometimes, though. I have to admit. I do miss it sometimes. Especially during the holidays, I do miss it. It's crazy during the holidays. But the smells and all that fun stuff. It's just, yeah, it was a lot. And... I enjoyed that part. Sometimes I actually consider going back to it, but eh, not for now. I am enjoying the animals. <laughs> Good grief. Why am I having glue trouble today? I put that down and it was crooked. I just tried to move it, that's all. Put that on that tab. And then, let's see, we can use this. Ooh, we can use this right here. Yep. Put the trim around that. That's, no, that's okay, too. Scissors. And then I needed to trim. Did I do it already? I guess I did. There. That's coming along. Let's put some... I don't need this white piece of paper anymore. I kind of feel like putting the safe count on there instead of sewing. Um, simply because this came from a grocery store too. This could be fun. kind of going way off kilter with this one, aren't I? Yes. I like it. I like it. Okay. Gretchen, you okay, baby? This is 
just one of those papers we would use to count our registers out. And we didn't use them at the store anymore, so I brought them home. They were going into the trash. So I brought some home. And save count. There we go. And I'll grunge that up too, I'm sure. So this one will probably not go in the sewing journal, I guess. And then we need something here, and of course on the back. Well, this is where we could use that paper. Uh, yeah, I mean, why not? We could mix them. We can mix them. No rules. No rules. There. I guess that is kind of a rule. If we go over the edge, that kind of messes it up. Oh, I wonder if I have more of the... I had a paper bag torn up up here. I wonder if I have more of that on my desk. I'm going to be looking for that. Because that would be kind of cute on here, wouldn't it? We could even use map page if we want. But, back in the day, would we have used that page? I don't know. This one I think is too delicate for the outside of, of this project. Too fragile. What else we got? What else we got? We've got, oh, I've got some, some of this. I got. I've got grand total. I could put that on the middle. That would be great for the middle of it, right? And now we're going to scoot it over this way because I tore that too short. <laughs> That'll work. I guess it does have more sewing patterns on it, so that's fine. It can go in there. It's a mix match. Mix and match little project there. And we can put this here. Let me cut this edge right here real quick so that I don't lose my shape. Probably just gonna make two of these on camera today. That should be plenty. Plenty. All right. I think you guys get the idea. You cut, you glue, you tear, you glue. Ink decorate. Right? And you can put whatever you want in them. 
I need to use this piece because I don't want it to go to waste. So I think I'm going to go ahead and glue this in here. It's beautiful. I just love this piece. It's just broken off in the most natural little places. Exactly where it felt like breaking. And we're just going to glue it down just like that. We're going to celebrate its beauty by putting it right down in here. Gluing it over that. Hopefully gluing it well enough. miss that opportunity, but do I really want to do that? I don't think I do. It was a good opportunity, but it's going to be too fragile. It's just going to come off again. Okay. This one. Let's just put this one down here. These pieces I actually did save to use because of their because they're unique and because of the way that they broke. And I knew that they would make amazing collage. But I saved them here on my desk. I didn't try to put them away. Nope, nope, nope. Don't do that. You'll never find them, or they'll be too too ruined by the time you get to them to use. And that's just no fun. That's just a waste. This, oops, this piece, I think I could go here, let's just put this here. Is that we're just gonna make this out of this folder I mean I gotta do something with this folder since I cut it I don't need it to be a folder so make something useful out of it and again actually I kind of like it that way on the side but I do want to trim this up right here on the corner and the top. I'm going to leave the side, I think, for now, at least. Put this here. that then maybe not maybe we'll just make sure it folds out and glue it glue it down there we go These pieces are fun, and some of them are like, why did I save that? Glue that one. Actually, I don't need all of that. Just right there. Is it folded? Nope. Just to cover that. Okay. Oh my goodness, it was cold this morning when I got up. I felt really bad for my my dragons. They were all cuddled up in their little spots. A little colder than they prefer it. But they're in there getting all toasty now. Here. So the 
they'll be happy pretty soon. I always wait to, after they warm up to feed them, so that's one of the things I've got to do this morning yet before I start my, my tasks, just to get them fed. They're going to get some hornworms today. Mm -hmm. If you guys don't know what hornworms are, some of you know them as tomato worms. You know, the ones in California that get on our tomato vines and we just hate them? Yeah, those. They love them. They're juicy. They're like candy for these babies. <laughs> it's gross. But they love them. They um, get so excited when they see these big old green worms coming in. They're like, give me more, give me more. And it's good for them in, well, in small amounts. Because, like I said, it's like candy. They're, they're a lot of water in there. And they squirt. I thought I'd be playing bugs. Well, I guess I could just put this on there like that. I don't mind that at all. And then I can decorate the paper. Do you guys ever get into um, a mood? Maybe you're maybe you're overtired. Maybe you're stressed. Um, where when you hear. I, let me just say it this way. I'm not. It's not a question. So last night I was watching some videos, some crafters, and they were doing amazing work. It, it, it's not about the crafter at all, but they were folding paper, and the sound of their fingers folding that paper was just like um, I don't know. It was it was grinding my nerves really bad, and I just it was weird. It was the weirdest thing kind of I shudder when I think about popsicle sticks on my tongue or like wet cloths wiping down a wood board that gets me too um it just it just shudder and I was feeling the same way last night listening to them folding paper and it was I had to turn the video off it was so bad it wasn't them it, it had nothing to do with them it was a total me thing but it was so weird I've, I've not been like that about paper folding before but they were folding paper, for instance, like this, and then it was this motion that was getting to me. I don't know if their fingers were like close to their microphone or, I don't know, it was just really, it was weird. You guys ever do that? I mean, just different sounds like that just kind of make you shiver to a point where you can't listen to it. And I was cringing every time she went to fold paper. I'm like, oh my gosh. I had to fast forward a part. And then I tried to go back to it. I just couldn't. I couldn't do it. Weird. Is there a name for that? I know I do have issues with different sounds. Like the popsicle stick and the, um, oh, at work. When they used to wipe down the, the, the wood, um, the wood boards, the wood uh, cutting boards in the meat department with the towel. Oh, I could not stand around for that. I had to leave. It's so strange, but uh, it is what it is. <laughs> All right, so I guess two is going to be good enough because my my camera is saying we're just about at our limit here. So I'm going to go ahead and ink this up and finish this. Um, I think these are going to be super cute. I forgot to curve that one. I hope you guys will be inspired to get out your, your crafty goodies. Make something fun today. It is Saturday. Find some time for yourself. You know, enjoy your family. Maybe one of your kids wants to craft with you. Maybe you could find a project that the two of you could do. This could be fun. Chloe and I had so much fun the other day crafting with you guys, and I'm hoping she'll do it with me again. I know a lot of you told me, yeah, do it again. It was really fun to watch. Um, but hopefully she will. We've got to come up with a fun project. Maybe she can teach me how to do something next time. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you check it out. It's uh, just it's just one of the recent ones this last week, I, I believe. 
Um, but we had a good sit down and we made some books. We've only got a few people that responded to the challenge that she posed though. So if you're interested, I'm going to actually throw in all of the journals that we made that day into the winning. So you got to follow the rules though. You got to do what she said, asked you to do. And yep, that means you got to watch the video to find out what that means. <laughs> but she wanted me to give away her journal and I'm going to give away the ones, I'm going to give away all of the ones that we made. So um, you'll be getting, I think four journals out of that. Well, I, I say journals, I mean little notebooks. One of them's a, a little bit more of a journal than the others. But they're all blank and you can add your goodies in there. Do what you want with them. They turned out pretty cute. Chloe made the little circus tent. She was so excited to make it. And um, she did a great job with it too. Okay, so let's do some stenciling with this one. We're almost done. Almost done. Where did that stencil go? There it is. Let's put something different on here. We definitely want this one. This is a little more coffee-ish. I gotta find that coffee stencil. It's my favorite one. I mean, we all use that one, right? I gotta get it out where I can find it a little easier. And then let's put some design on this one. Should we do, would it be fun to put this one on there? Did I do this one? I did this on the other one, huh? Let's do a, let's see. We can do these misformed polka dots. I kind of like to do that in kind of a greenish. I'm gonna add some, yes, I'm adding green to my brown brush. It's okay, it's all right. doesn't even really look that green, which is fine. That's what I want. I will put some of this up here. Just kind of add in a little bit of something, something. We'll put circles down here. We'll put squares up here. Nothing wrong with that. It just adds a little something. All right, let's put those up and then we'll do a couple stamps and then we'll be done. Um, I'm probably gonna add some charms to it, but what I'll do is to go ahead, instead of showing you how to do that, because you guys know how to do that, I will make sure that the picture shows the charms in the in the description of the video. Because, because, because it takes a while to do those. And um, yeah. I don't know where my stamp block is, but these aren't sticking anyway, so I'm not too worried. Oh, too wet. Totally too wet, but that's okay. It's all right. And then let's see here. Go a little easier on that and apparently it wants to go right there so there's that <laughs> keeps falling off but you know what things happen for a reason maybe that's where it needed to go should we put this one right here too maybe maybe not okay it's done we'll just push this on i'm going to use this paper eventually I'm going to just keep stamping on it, making it fun. And I want to put this one on here. This is that little saying that I can't remember what it said, but it was really cute. And we're just going to go lightly with this one so maybe somebody could read it. And maybe or maybe it will be... Oh, I didn't want it there. Let's put it here. Maybe they'll be able to read it. Nope, they won't be able to read it, but that's okay. And how about this one? 
let's use a different color for this one. Let's use blue. I mean, you could add so much more. You could add little tags to this. You could, you know, little little um, labels would be perfect. So perfect. All right, we've got two. And I'm going to leave it at that, you guys. I'm going to add the charms on it. Like I said, you'll see those in the, in the description of the video. I hope you enjoyed this little make. I had fun. And um, all, as always, I love it that you, when you spend time with me. So thank you for that. I will see you in the next video. Take care, you guys. Happy Saturday. Bye-bye.